here we have two video cards that came in for repair one of them is a 4090 that came in for a burnt connector and i told you in the last video the last 4090 burnt connector video i posted a few days ago i told you that we are getting those cards in every time that video made headlines a lot of people mentioned that nvidia fixed the problem why are we still seeing burnt connectors now i have not come across the new connector i do not even know how the new connector looks like the connector they talked about but that's the one that we have here looks like the old connector to me every single day we get those in every single day i'm not gonna do this card in this video because i posted one a few days ago but we have another video card that you really like that we also work on on daily basis it's the evga 3090 the one that looks like this every single day along with the 4090s so it's the 4090 burnt connector evga not working red light short circuit not detected now this one here the customer mentioned something about liquid damage let me read the ticket quick the customer said water damage from a cup of water can you fix the rgb pins so we have two things here we have liquid damage and we have the rgb pins let me take a look at the rgb pins and oh yeah we have damaged pins right here this we can fix no problem but right now we need to worry about the big problem water damage from the first impression looking at this card i see liquid metal and not liquid damage the customer said water damage from a cup so i do see liquid damage wait a minute do we have ripped capacitors is that supposed to be like this by default no we have capacitors <laughs> ripped capacitors one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four 24 ripped capacitors are you kidding me are you kidding me look at this mess look at the liquid metal mess here liquid metal extending all the way here liquid metal liquid metal oh look at this liquid metal shorten out this pin with this with this with this with this with this with this what in the world this card is a rabbit hole 100 percent and we have to decide if we should continue or we should stop how come you do not fix stuff that will take a lot of time because you have to be stupid to do that if you are in business look at this look at this wow The only reason we are successful is because we know what to work on and what not to work on, what to waste time on and what not to waste time on. Somebody else wanna do it, by all means, do it. Spend 10 days working on it, it doesn't matter to me. Do I look like I care? For me, if I do not see light at the end of the tunnel or the repair is not practical because of how long it will take, then we deem it a no fix. We send it back to the customer. Next, we have 6 million devices in the queue i do not see liquid damage on front of the board let's take a look at the back i just want to see one sign of liquid damage the customer said a cup of water where did that cup of water disappear look at this i see a burnt chip whatever that chip is we do have a donor we can replace the chip no problem but i want to see that cup of water where is it No signs of water anywhere. RGB pins. Who cares about RGB pins when we have a mess like this? What should we do? Should we replace what? 20, 30 capacitors. And then later find out that we cannot fix the cord after spending all that time 
because of liquid metal or because of the short that liquid metal created or because of unknown areas where liquid metal made its way under the GPU or under memory chips or under whatever. Let me remove the shield. I want to see what's under. I mean, the guy has thermal pads down to the bones. Down to the bones. You know how some people think the more thermal paste, the better? It's the opposite. I do not think we have liquid metal under that thermal pad. So let's not waste our time here. We have people that mention glow compressed air to get rid of liquid metal, suck the liquid metal with a syringe, wick liquid metal. I like how talk is easy. When you are watching a war from far, oh, do this, do that. Oh, they should have done this. They should have done that. You do not know what's going on. When you are inside the war, it's a different story. You're going to shit in your pants when you hear the first explosion. I do not see anything obvious. I'm just trying to see if liquid metal spilled anywhere else on the board. We have more liquid metal here. And we also noticed an inductor that had liquid metal so we'll go there shortly. How did all those caps rip? That's the question. Right there. I mean, luckily it's an inductor and not a BGA chip. And that liquid metal will eat through the pads. It will make components soft. But still, we're going to give this card a chance. A chance to live. Let's go ahead and replace the component on back of the board since that's the only thing I found wrong with the card based on visual inspection along with the 16 million missing caps on the GPU. Maybe we get lucky, who knows. What is that chip? What does it do? I don't know, and I do not really care. You have people that will spend hours trying to figure out what that chip does. Look up schematics, read the data sheet. Why? Maybe if my life depends on it, I would do it. 
But why would I do it? Change the chip and we're done. Next. You need to learn how to be efficient. You know how when we're young, how we do not like to take advice from parents? Why does my mom not want to let me go there? Why does my mom not want to do this, do that? And we think they're wrong. When we grow up, we realize, oh, now I know why. She had a point. Same thing between the experienced and not experienced. If you do not see why you should not be wasting time, it means you did not get there yet. One day you will get there and you will realize, oh yeah, he was right. Every second you lose, it's going away from your life. Make the best out of it. Do not waste it. And of that mini to the rescue, and we see a lot of glare on the board. What do we do when we have glare? You should know by now. Anti glare light, the north pitch fix, anti glare light. Super easy. Let me grab a donor board from right over here. UM9. What is UM9 for all the scientists out there? It's a quiz. What's UM9? And if you get the answer right, you're not going to win anything. Just exposure for the scientist that you are. I do not know if the GPU will work without soldering those 30 caps, but we're gonna try. If we do see something positive, then I will take the time to solder all 20 something capacitors. And we're done here. One thing I wanna do quick, Maybe we can measure our 1.8 volt line in resistance mode. Same with the PEX line. We'll go over our 12 volt lines, make sure we do not have a short circuit. So right now I'm in ohms mode and I'm using those amazing probes that I did a video on yesterday. So we have 197 ohms, good enough for me, should be around 226, but it's all right. I can live with that. And our PEX line should be between four to nine. And right now I'm reading 4.1 or 3.9, a bit low, a bit low. Measure our 12 volt lines, which are known to fail on those cards meter in diode mode. We're gonna measure, start with the fuse here. We have a reading 0 0.44, 0 0.44. Our fuse is good, we do not have a short. We're gonna jump down here. Same reading, we do not have a short and so our 12 volt lines are good. Just move a bit down, measure here. Do we have a short? We do not. Move all the way down here. We do not. And we're gonna measure our PCIe 12V and 3.3V. Perfect. So we can safely power on the video card and hope for the best. Let me check the data lines on the back. Data lines, they look good. Nothing ripped, nothing missing. And all we can do is hope for the best. If that card works, wow, it's our lucky day.
then we'll need to spend the time to replace the capacitors. So we have three 12 volt lines. I plugged in two and one more. And now we need to plug in HDMI cable. And since I do not have another camera pointing to the screen, I'll do it manually. Right? Manual is sometimes good. We're going to look at the screen here. The cord is plugged into a PCIe adapter that's plugged into a Dell motherboard. So we should see a Dell logo if the card works. Uh, we're going to do everything together. One, two, and three. We do see a light. I do not hear six beeps, and that's good. It means the card was detected. But we do not see an image, and that's probably because we do not have a heatsink and fan connected to the video card. The video card is overheating, and it's shutting off before we even see a logo. Let me see if I can put a heatsink like this. Just for two seconds, I want to see an image. If not, then we're going to have to put the heatsink and fan on and try again. But I'm going to press down on the heatsink. Just a temporary one. And we're going to turn the card on again. Now, this heat sink is going to suck some of that heat. Maybe we will see a logo. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome, awesome. Amazing. Amazing. We did it. The card is working. Big Boss will reassemble and test further, invoice and mail it back to the customer. But right now, we have to replace all the caps. Maybe I'll do a few in this video. And the customer also mentioned the RGB pins. Maybe I'll do that in the video also. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Let's use low melt solder because it will make our life a lot easier. All right, and the header is done. Let's go to the CPU. Maybe I'll do two in this video, and I'll continue the rest at my own time. So you do not have to watch me replace six million capacitors. All right, so I did two caps. I'll continue the rest later, probably tomorrow, because I have a couple of things on my bench that we need to get done, including this 4090. And replacing the capacitors on this video card is just a tedious process because repetition, repetition, repetition. And we have a lot of them. So I'll leave it until tomorrow. This one, the 4090 is expedited, so we have to take care of this one first. We are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.